could provide power for decades, but until now it's been too deep, too expensive to exploit. Billions of tonnes of coal still lie far beneath Britain, beyond the reach of conventional mining. But now new technology means power can be produced cheaply by burning it in situ deep underground. Our business correspondent Sarah Smith has been to Swansea Bay, where the government has granted one of a number of licences to develop the technology. But conservationists warn it could catastrophically undermine efforts to increase green energy sources. The bright lights of Swansea by night. It takes about 230 megawatts of electricity to keep the lights on in a city this size. There is enough coal beneath Swansea Bay to keep them on for decades, but until now it's not been possible to get at it. Underground coal gasification has the potential to transform the energy industry, especially in places like this where most of the old coal mines have long since shut down. There is still plenty of coal underneath the ground, it's just been too expensive until now to try and get it out. This new technology could completely change that. First, you sink a borehole down to the coal seam, about 500 metres underground. New directional drilling technology makes it easy to create another one that tracks along the coal seam. Pump in oxygen and firelight is to start a burn. And as the coal combusts, it generates carbon monoxide, methane and hydrogen, or syngas, which is extracted through the borehole. A power generation plant on the surface turns the syngas into electricity. Coal has always been king in South Wales, even if most of the pits like Deep Dufferin Colliery have long since shut down. There is still plenty of coal underground, but traditional mining methods can't reach it. Underground coal gasification is much cheaper than old-fashioned extraction, and men don't have to work underground in dirty and dangerous conditions. It's very cheap. It is a cheap form of energy. It's in abundance. It is security of supply. We own the coal in this country, not Brussels, not uh, America, not Russia. We own it, and it's our supply, and we have sufficient supplies of coal for underground coal gasification to provide energy for the whole of the UK, if that's what we want to do, for hundreds of years. Clean Coal's gasification geologist took me to see where their first project will start work in a few months' time. He thinks there may be a billion tonnes of coal under the water in Swansea Bay. What we try to uh, access is, is coal that's deemed unminable, and this is usually because it's too deep. So we, we don't, we're not really in competition with mines. What we're looking for typically are, are coal seams that, that aren't mineable, because they may be offshore or because they're too deep. The government has quietly granted UCG licences all over the country. Swansea is one of a number of them. Another's been issued on the Thames estuary, with another ten up the east coast of England. There are four offshore in Scotland, one in Cumbria and one in Liverpool Bay. That brings the total around the United Kingdom so far to 18. Environmentalists have always hoped that new advances in wind power, in wave and in solar would supply our future energy needs. But what's happening here is that new technological advances are also allowing people to extract and exploit more fossil fuels. UCG is cleaner than the coal of the past, but it will still produce carbon emissions. Clean Coal Limited say they intend to capture and store that CO2, but admit the technology is far from perfect. So environmentalists worry that because UCG is cheaper than renewables, it will displace greener fuels. The Earth's crust is riddled with fossil fuels, and it's not that we haven't got enough of them, we've got far too many of them. And this really is the climate change uh, concern. What are we going to do if people burn all this stuff uh, given that it's going to be relatively cheap compared with some of the alternative low-carbon technologies. UCG is already in operation in Australia, where it suffered a major setback. Protests about local pollution forced Cougar Energy to shut down a plant in Queensland in 2009, when benzene was found in the groundwater, but the company deny that had anything to do with them. Coal is undoubtedly dirty and destructive, but it's also very cheap, and UCG could make it even cheaper. Around the world, there may be as much as five trillion tonnes of coal that can't be reached by traditional mining. Gasification might make it accessible, but it could also tie us to fossil fuels far into the future. Sarah Smith, Channel 4 News, Swansea.